All right, happy Thursday. Let's warm up. All right, so high knees, big circles backwards. So if you guys read my little blurb in the Facebook group page, it's all about unilateral training today, right? So go the other way. So we'll do one side and then the other. Um, we have some balance training as well today. So we're gonna use minimal weights. We have a couple exercises with the weights, but a lot of it's gonna be body weight balance training. So I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, feet wide, hinge forward, lunge side to side, glue those feet to the floor. Let's just wake up that body here. Let's add a reach. There you go. Reach for that foot. Bend that knee. Take that other arm back. Feel those inner thighs waking up. Stretching out the booty. Good. How about four more? Three, two, and one. All right, so give me the thumbs up here. Feet apart, toes face in front. We're gonna squat as we squeeze our shoulder blades together. Squat and squeeze, babies. There you go. Keep looking forward. Eyes on the horizon. Feel that back warming up. Tapping that little preschool chair back there behind you. Abs are nice and tight. There you go. If you're just logging on right now, don't worry. We're still warming up. Good. Warming up the quads, the glutes. Squeezing that upper back, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Let's do a couple more. All right. Forward lunges with a twist. So step forward, twist over that knee. Alternate your feet. So as we step forward, sink into it. So you get a nice opening through your hip flexor. Beautiful, keep your shoulders back, chest lifted. Just getting things warmed up, getting the blood flowing. See if you can sink a little lower. Maybe your range of motion is getting a little bit better here. Let's do two more. Nice job. All right, feet wide. Twist side to side. Shoulders away from the ears. Good. Open up that chest. Alternate that toe tap. Yeah, a little twist through the midsection here. Firing up those obliques. Alright, just give me a little bounce on the toes. Yeah, see how those ankles feel. Shake out those arms a little bit here. Ah. Alright, grab that imaginary chunk rope. If you don't jump today, if you don't feel like jumping in, maybe your knees, your hips are bothering you, just march in place. This is where you kind of decide if you like the sports bra that you're wearing, if your pants are staying up, right? <laughs> it's always when you start jumping, that's when you realize if you like the clothes you're wearing or not. All right, let's do some jumping jacks out in. Good. Just getting that core temperature up, right? If you don't want to jump, I need you to tap out one foot from the other. Good. We get that body warm. We'll be able to stretch a little bit more. All right. Back to the jump rope. Back to the jump rope. Nice and easy. March or bounce. Yeah. Nice and light on those feet. Thank you guys so much for joining me this morning. I was hoping somebody would show up, right? 
I do, I do get a little worried every time before a test. I'm like, are people going to show up? So thank you so much for being here. All right, jumping jacks one more time. I don't know about you, but I'm already breathing hard. Uh-oh, I'm getting nervous. All right, enough of those, enough of those. All right, up and over that gate, up and over. Good, inside to outside. Yeah, these are better than doing jumping jacks. So if you're just joining me, you just need a couple weights today. We're not gonna use the weights a lot. We will do a lot of body weight exercise today. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. You can tell me after we're done. All right, two more. All right, let's fold forward, touch our toes, walk it out to plank. So fold forward, walk it out to plank. All right, you're on your hands here. I want you to drop your hips, look up. Oh yeah, a little back bend. Walk your hands back to your feet, stand up, reach for the sky. Let's do that a few more times. Take that on a pace that works for you. Maybe you need to linger in that back bend a little bit, right? Whatever's gonna feel good. When you stand up, reach for the sky. Beautiful drop there. Oh yeah, that feels good. All right, let's do that one more time. All right, all right, look at me, look at me. Fold forward, reach for your toes, grab your sneakers, legs are long, drop your butt, lift your chest, look at me, arms up, stand up. Beautiful, fold forward, grab your sneakers, drop your booty, lift those arms up, stand up. Two more times. Oh, nice work. All right, let's walk it out to plank. We'll do a little stretching here. So fold forward, walk it out to your hands. Let's hold it here. So hands are right underneath the shoulders. Push that floor away from you. Belly's tucked in tight. Give me a few slow mountain climbers here. Just firing up that core. Separate your shoulder blades. Keep your head in line with your spine. Can you make a little twist? Twist towards your opposite elbow. Pivot on the ball of your foot. Four more. Three, two. Take it in the downward dog. Tuck your chin in. Paddle out your heels. Oh yeah, maybe a double pulse, maybe a single pulse. Maybe you tilt your hips side to side. Stretching out those hamstrings. Come back into plank. Let's hold it here. All right, right foot. Step outside that right hand. Get that booty down. Maybe you want to drop that back knee as a modification. There you go. Rock it back and forth. Shoulders away from your ears. Take that right arm up. Let me see you open up that chest to the side. Sweep under and reach through. Yeah, a few more times. Feel that twist. All right, one more. Let's do one more. All right, let's take it back into plank. Other foot. Big step forward. That knee's right over your ankle. Drop that back knee if you need to. Get that booty down, engage your core. Left arm up to the sky, follow your hand with your eyes. Sweep under and reach. You really reach through, follow that hand with your eyes. All right, last one. Let's take it into our plank. Downward dog, one more time, head left those heels. Walk your hands back to your feet. Round it up. 
couple shoulder rolls. All right, grab some water. It's time to work out. So the way it's gonna work today, we have 10 exercises. They're unilateral. So we'll do the exercise on our right, and then we'll do the exercise on our left. 45 second work, 15 second rest. So first exercise, you don't need any weights. I'm gonna demonstrate it for you. So take a look. Your right foot will be on the floor. You're gonna ground your right foot. You're gonna get your balance here. You're gonna pick up your left. You are going to hinge forward, take that left foot back. Maybe you can tap the floor here, but try not to round your back, right? So squeeze your shoulder blades together and then rise up. So we're gonna try and keep that left foot off the floor. Sound good? It's okay if you fall over, you can get right back up, right? All right, so I want you to balance on your right foot. Pick up that left one. All right, you heard the bell. So extend that leg back. Maybe you can touch the floor with your fingertips. Little balance challenge here. So the leg you're standing on, right? Your right foot, that leg, keep a soft bend to your knee. I don't want you to lock it out. On that back leg, that toe points towards the ground. Head comes along for the ride. You never want to drop that head. It's a natural extension of your spine. You should be feeling a little something, something in that right hamstring. Yes, maybe, no. All right, shake it out. Yeah, you probably felt it right there where the bottom of the leg meets the top. All right, we're gonna do the other side now. So I want you to balance on your left foot. Go ahead and kickstand that right foot, shoulders back, chest lifted. All right, let's come forward. See if you can tap the floor with those fingertips and then rise back up. So extend that right leg back, toe points towards the floor. Those toes are gripping the ground here. I'd rather have you go slower than faster. So that left leg, that's your stabilizer. It is stabilizing, you staying up on that one foot, trying not to put that, that um, right foot on the floor. Beautiful, nice job guys, shake it out a little bit. All right, grab one heavy weight, one heavy weight here. We're gonna squat to press, tricep so only going this way right we're only going to go this way so right here squat press tricep same side squat to that press we step out with our right foot bring them together and then add that tricep overhead extension on that squat keep looking forward sink into it Put equal weight on both feet. It's not a side lunge here, it is a squat. On that tricep overhead extension, keep those arms parallel. Try not to let those elbows flare out. Rest. Rest. All right, now we're gonna do the other side. Yes, same thing. Squat, overhead press into that tricep overhead extension. That was a nice 15 second break, wasn't it? I enjoyed that. Come on, step out with that left leg, sink low, sink low. Maybe you can tap your elbows to your legs. Maybe that booty can get a little lower. That looks great, nice work. All right. Rest. 
One arm rows. So weights in your right hand. Left foot forward, side view. I need you to lean forward so you're gonna work your back. We're gonna draw that elbow up and down. So you're not gonna rotate your chest. It shines towards the floor. You're gonna squeeze on the way up. Maybe that left hand's resting on your thigh. Maybe your forearm. There you go, sculpting the back here, giving the legs a break. I don't care what that back leg's doing. You can bend it a little bit. You can extend it, whatever feels good for you. Look out a few feet in front of you so we're not dropping our head. Again, I'd rather have you go slower than faster, right? Take that break. Rest. All right, we'll do that the other side, right? So switch that weight to that left hand. Set it up. You're on railroad tracks. Hinge forward, right? Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Scapular retraction. And let's row. So important to work that posterior chain, right? So many times and so many ways during the day, we're typically just working the front of our body. So it's so important to focus on the back to balance things out. This is nice, isn't it? It's not too bad so far. We're still friends, right? Oh, nice work, guys. All right, um, grab two heavy weights. It is a static lunge with a hammer curl. So right foot forward, left foot back on railroad tracks. Shoulders back, chest lifted. Static lunge to hammer curl. You're driving that left knee towards the floor. You're on an elevator, right? Straight down, straight up. Elbows are right underneath your shoulders. Palms face each other. Palms face your body. So you're driving into that heel on your front foot, driving into the ball of your left foot. Tuck those hips under, right? Little pelvic tilt. Drive that left hip forward. Rest. Rest. Shake it out a little bit. I kind of felt that in the back of that left leg. Other side. So on railroad tracks, step back, shoulders back, chest lifted, back heel up. Drop, hammer curl. Take a look at your front knee. Make sure it's jutting straight forward and it's not going past the toe. If you're using some meaty weights here, heart rate's coming up. Come on, keep looking forward. Push that right hip forward. Tuck it under, squeeze your right butt cheek. Bring it back in. All right, out, in. Maybe you draw that knee up. Give yourself a little balance challenge here. Glue the left foot to the floor. Don't let the side of that left foot come up. Keep that left leg straight. Push off that right foot. Drive it up nice and tall. Let me see those runner arms, strong arms. Yep, heart rate's coming up a bit, huh? Mine is. You take it at a pace that works for you. All right, breathe. 
Let your heart rate come down a little bit. Come on, we'll take it up and down, up and down. It's gonna be fun, like a roller coaster, right? You guys ready to do the other side? Work. Beautiful, big step out. I need you to lean forward as you land on that left foot. Right, nice strong arms. Control your arms, maybe drive that knee up. There's your balance challenge. Rest. Is your heart beat heart beating a little bit faster? All right, take a look. Your right foot reverse lunge to a knee. So take that right foot back. Yep, shoulders back. Sink, lift. Sink, lift. Yep, so side view. Sink into it. Rise up. Let the music drive you. Drop, lift, drop, lift. Yes! Alright, y'all need to stand up. 
we're coming into side plank. On your right forearm, maybe your legs are extended. We're going to do some hip dips. Work. Drop and lift. So you have a couple options with your legs. Bottom leg can be bent. Your knees or hips are stacked. You can extend that bottom leg. You can lift that top arm up. Yes. Maybe you're just going to hold it. But I need everybody's hips up here. Everybody's hips are up. They're off the floor. You add that hip dip if you'd like. You can also stack your feet. Come on. 45 seconds. You can do this. Oblique work here. Strange fruit is what we're used to. Set it up on your forearm. Where do you want your feet? Where do you want your arms? So straight line from the fingertips down to that elbow. It's like a string is attached to the ceiling. Those hips are coming up and down. They stay stacked. Maybe you're still holding here. So you want to do hold it, lift it up. Maybe bend that bottom leg, right? Anyway, you can keep those hips up for 45 seconds. All right, on your back. Rest. Cross your right ankle over your left leg. We're going to do one-legged bridges here. Lift your hips up, walk that foot in a little bit. Down and up. Work. So, if your left heel is on the floor, whatever heel is on the floor, I need you to drive that heel into the ground. Maybe you're gonna lift your toes, right? I'm gonna flex my foot. You want a little extra? Take that leg up to the side. Don't let those hips rest on the floor. Don't do it. Oh, good morning, hamstring. Again, posterior chain, right? Ah, oh, rest, rest, rest. All right, switch your leg. Make that figure four to start. Lift your hips up. Walk that bottom foot in a little bit. Drive your shoulders down into the floor. Down and up. Work. You want a little extra. If you want extra credit, lift that top leg. Come on, how high can you get those hips? Give a little squeeze up top. Stay with me. Press. Press. 
All right, left foot forward. Light on those feet. Arms in guard. Start with the jab. Jab it out. Come on, light on those feet. Quarter to quarter. Two opponents. Double it up.
One arm row. Wrist. All right, let's put the weight in our left hand this time. Left foot back. Lean forward. Maybe rest that forearm on your quad right there. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Work. Little squeeze at the top. I want you to take it down as slow as you're taking it up. Even Steven, up and down. Would our kids say that? You guys remember even Steven? Am I the only one that said that? Is that an Oklahoma thing? Look out a few feet in front of you. Don't drop that head. Nice work, nice Rich. work. All right, trade that way to the other side. Hinge forward. Draw those shoulders down and back. Maybe rest that forearm on that front leg. Work. So if we were using a barbell for our dead rows right now, Sometimes one side is stronger and it takes more of the load. So by doing one side at a time, yeah, even Steven, right? We're gonna even it out. All right, grab two heavy weights. Rest. Static lunge with a hammer curl. Right foot forward. Step that left foot straight back. Chest lifted. Down and up. Work. Hammer curl. Don't let that front knee cave in. Don't let it draw towards the middle. Point it out towards the front. Keep your shoulders back. Open up that chest. Nice, core is tight. Drive that back knee down towards the floor. Drive the ball of the foot on that left foot into the floor. Set it up. You start with those feet apart. Step straight back. You got it. Railroad tracks here. Work. Excellent work. That looks so good. I want you to squeeze your right butt cheek, right? Because what do they say? <laughs> what do they say about squeezing your bum, right? Yep. If you don't squeeze it, no one else is going to want to squeeze it. Is that bad? Can I say that? Okay. Oh. All right. Get rid of your weights. Get rid of them. Side lunge, no weights, all right? Strong arms. Work. You can tap in, right, or you can lift that knee up. If you want, I'll let you take this a little bit faster. Yeah, because we're gonna get that heart rate up and we're gonna work our inner thighs. Lean forward, push off that left butt, glue that right foot to the floor, keep that right leg straight. Sit 
Sometimes body weight exercises is enough to do the work. I know you'll feel something tomorrow in your inner thighs. Shake it out. Rest. We good? It's not too bad, right? A lot of strength training for the legs today. Work. So, it's a rainy, going to be a rainy day today. Guess what you get to do? You get to vacuum. You get to dust. You might even want to clean that refrigerator. Yeah, I know you've been thinking about it. <laughs> rainy days, we call them low expectation days, right? Don't need to go outside. You get stuff done at home. Beautiful, push off that foot. Rest. I know, I'm breathing hard too. It's all good. All right, let's take our left foot back. We're gonna sink into that reverse lunge. Lift that knee up. Right leg stays where it is. Don't let that right foot come off the ground. Side view. I wanna see some strong arms. Yes, just like a robot. Looks good. in the booty here. It's all good. Ah. Rest. Are you think we're going to feel anything tomorrow? Probably. All right. Do the other side. Take it back. Get your balance, right? Sink. Work. Lift. Like you have a book on your head. It's not gonna fall off. Eyes on the horizon. Oh, all right, 
You don't need to stand up. I'm being nice. Side plank on your forearm. You decide if you want to bend your bottom knee, stack those feet. Your hand can be on the floor, here, here. Very, very small movement. Little hip dip. Don't need to come down far. If it's too much pressure for your shoulder, you're welcome to hold in plank here. Do a weak twist. Drop that bottom knee if you need to, right? Everybody's hips are off the floor here. You can do this if you bend your bottom knee. Stack your knees, stack your hips. Oh. All right, Rich. keep those feet around the other way. On your forearm. Do you want to stack those feet? Do you want to scissor them? Do you want to bend your bottom knee? Work. Great way to work the obliques here. Strengthen your side. Yep, shoulders away from the ears. Don't let them creep up. Come on, turn the corners of your mouth up. Let me see you smile for me. We're getting close. We're getting really close to the end. Oh, the buzzer couldn't come fast enough. Single leg bridge. So down on your back. Let's cross our right leg over. So your left foot is on the floor. Toes are up, all right? Drive that left heel into the floor. Lift and lower. So you should be feeling that and that hamstring. You want a little extra credit, take that leg up to the sky, flex your foot. Like you're pushing the ceiling away from you. Try not to rest at the bottom. It's not a rest down there. We have a constant contraction for that hamstring. I know, I feel your pain. I feel it. Rest. Rest. But it's good for us, right? Right, okay. Okay. Dig that heel into the floor, toes up. Lift up those hips. Work. I know, I found, my tel I found myself holding tension in my neck and shoulders. Don't do it. Keep it loose up here. Keep it loose up top. Extra credit, flex that foot. Straighten out that leg. Come on, last time you're with the hamstrings. Hug those knees and rock and roll it up. Let's throw in our last two minutes of cardio. Left foot forward. Box your rhythm here. Arms and guard, jab it out. Yes, you're crushing it. Come on, corner to corner here, corner to corner. Double it up, double, yes, double. All right, who's going up and down with me? High, low, jump is optional. Come on, come on. I didn't make you do that much cardio today. Let's go. Rest. Rest. All right. Last 40 
45 seconds. Light on those feet. Arms and guards. Come on, smile for me. Jab it out. Work. Corner to corner. Double it up. Come on. Double, double, double. Yes. Nice work. All right, come on. Up and down, up and down. Land softly. Nice and quiet on those feet. Come on, punch. Punch. Session you did it. Nice work. Oh. It's all good. Cow off. Drink up. We're going to stretch it out. Because believe me, you're going to be needing to stretch those hamstrings tomorrow too, I bet. They're very deceiving exercises, aren't they? Not so bad while you're doing them. All right, have a seat on the floor. Yeah, face me. Oh. All right, so let's start with the hamstring stretch here. So extend your right leg, toe is flexed. Inside of that left foot is touching that inner thigh. You have that out on an angle here. Yep, think about pushing that knee towards the floor. Sit up tall first. Just let that heart rate come down. All right, big inhale. As you exhale, hold forward. Can you grab your sneaker? Can you grab your ankle? Draw your shoulder blades back. So pull on that foot or ankle and pull your shoulder blades back in their sockets. All right, I'd like you to keep your right foot on that sneaker, left arm up and over. So take a side body stretch. I need you to open up that arm right above your head and reach. Beautiful, switch your feet. Angle it out, flex it. Bottom of that foot is touching. Think about that knee push down towards the floor. Let's just sit up tall here. Beautiful. Shoulders back. Big inhale. Exhale and fold forward. See if you can grab your sneak or your ankle. Draw your shoulder blades back towards each other. Tighten up that left quadricep. out. Keep that left hand on your left foot. Let's open up that right arm up overhead. Look underneath your arm, side body stretch. Sit up tall, straddle. Hands behind your back, push into those finger pads, lift your chest, flex your feet, tighten up your quadriceps here. Walk those hands forward. You got a little crawling tiger here. Maybe you're gonna stay on your finger pads. Maybe you're gonna come down to your forearms. Maybe some of you come, come to your chest. I'm jealous of anybody that can come to their chest, by the way. All right, let's take it into a pigeon. So I want you to bend your right knee, sweep that left leg around, point your toe, walk it back. There you go, walk that foot back. Maybe you're gonna stay up here on your hands, all right? If that feels good, stay there. Maybe you're gonna come down to your forearms. Maybe you're gonna bring your head all the way down to the floor and walk your hands forward. So we're gonna hold it here for a couple rounds of breath. back up onto your fingertips and let's 
sweep around to the other side. So let's bend that left leg, extend your right, wiggle that toe back, then go ahead and point that toe, push into the floor. We can start with that chest lift here. Take it down to your forearms if that feels good or keep it up on your fingers. Or if you want a little bit deeper, walk those hands forward and rest your head on the floor. Walk your hands back. Take it into tabletop. On your hands, on your knees, fingers spread wide. You can tuck your toes under. Look up, arch your back as you inhale. As you exhale, round your back, chin to chest, separate your shoulder blades. Inhale, look up. Round, stretch your back, stretch the back of your neck. One more time, look up. And then round it. Tuck your toes under, coming into a downward dog. So drive both heels into the floor, bend your knees just a little bit, tuck your chin in, pull your belly in, lift the bottom of your butt a little higher. Knees are soft, walk your hands back to your feet, slowly round it up, one vertebrae at a time, then the last thing to come up. Grab that elbow, pull down and back, triceps. Other side. Bring those feet together, palms face front, arms by your side, shoulders down. Inhale, lift those arms overhead. And exhale. Come on, nice deep breath in. And let it go. One more time, big inhale, palms meet together up top. Give yourself a little mini back bend here. Draw those hands into your heart. Give yourself a hand. Nice 